flags were lowered and tributes laid outside Holyrood this morning for Alex Salmond, arguably Scotland's most significant First Minister. He had been attending a conference in North Macedonia when he suddenly collapsed during a lunch. He suffered a massive heart attack. I received a call uh, very shortly after it happened by those who were with him at the time, and they were clearly very distressed. Uh, attempts were being made to get in contact with the family because they had to be told before news broke. So it's been a, a very traumatic time. Alex Salmon's death at the age of 69 ends a remarkable career and closes a chapter in the story of Scottish independence. Alex Salmon made a huge contribution to public life and political debate in Scotland, taking the SNP from the fringes of Scottish politics to become a party of government, and he took Scotland incredibly close to becoming an independent country. Alex Salmon started making his own speech, despite efforts by fellow MPs to make him sit down. Always a personality politician. Even as a young MP in the 1980s, he was grabbing headlines, getting thrown out of the Commons for a protest over the poll tax. He railed against Westminster, but revelled in debate there. And if the Prime Minister cannot be trusted on that, how can he be trusted on earth? As a figurehead for the Yes campaign in the independence referendum, he fell just short of achieving his dream. As leader, my time is, uh, is nearly over. But for Scotland, the campaign continues and the dream shall never die. When Channel 4 News interviewed Alex Salmond only last month, he said he'd made a mistake standing down. Do you think it was the right decision for you to have gone? No, it was the wrong decision. Uh, but then, you know, I wasn't to know then that the 10 years since would be wasted and political opportunities would go a-begging and uh, for no apparent reason. Who's to blame for missing the opportunity? Well, the leadership, obviously. I mean, it's the people... Nicholas Sturgeon. Well, I mean, well, I wouldn't have led people up to the top of the hill and, and back down again. The relationship with Nicholas Sturgeon soured in the aftermath of the referendum. Alex Salmon's decision to host a chat show on RT, the channel editorially controlled by the Kremlin, was widely attacked. Welcome to the Alex Salmon Show. Then came allegations of sexual misconduct, his reputation tarnished during a criminal trial in which he was cleared of all charges. Do you regret anything about your behaviour and how that might have reflected publicly well, in terms of the cause of no, independence? I rest on two court verdicts in the highest civil court in the land and the highest criminal court in the land. And I like to live in a country where people respect the verdicts of juries and don't try to dismiss them. He believed his former party had colluded against him and was no longer on speaking terms with Nicola Sturgeon. I don't believe that the full facts and the full background and circumstances to how these cases came about are yet in the public domain. Um, and I'm very sad that Alex Salmond has died before they are in the public domain. But many of us are determined that they should be in the public domain. And uh, I'm hoping that they will be within my lifetime and that uh, Alex Salmond will be fully vindicated. He was colourful but complicated. Yet, with independence at an impasse, the SNP will struggle to find another leader with the charisma to bring them quite so close. Alex Salmon's final quote on social media just before his death, Scotland is a country, not a county.